What's up everyone, I'm Landon. I'm gonna to talk to you today about my braces, stuff that's went right, stuff that's went wrong. So let's get into this video and tell you, don't be scared to get braces. Yeah, stuff happens and there's a lot of good with it. And you know, you feel like the way your teeth was before and you get braces and then you get around people and it's like, you don't wanna, you know, you're hiding it. But as your teeth move and stuff, you don't really hide it as much. And you, I think you just get used to it. Cause you're like, now my wife had them and stuff. She told me after this way, you won't, you won't feel them in your mouth. And it, it gets to that point, but it seems like forever. Trust me, it seems like forever. But the first thing I want to tell you is, um, when I went to go get my, so hang on, back up, back up, back up. So. I didn't talk about this in the first video. So the guy I go to is in Bedford, Curtis Orthodontics, if you don't know. Uh, so before you get them, they put these rubber band spacers in that go like the second to back tooth. They go between it. So I have a couple of crowns down here. This is one of the bad parts of my story, but I went in and got you know, they pop the tops in just fine and you feel pressure real bad. And they seen I had a crown, so they started it in, got it in between the tooth. And as soon as they went, I felt something hit the top of my mouth. I was like, uh-uh. I was like, my tooth really gone. And I, I went, spit it out. My crown came off. Like, well, that's not good. And I was like, you had no kidding. So they had me hold on to that. And I didn't know I had a crown over here. And they looked and like, you got another crown. So they're like, let's try this again. Went through, I was like, okay, not that bad of pressure. Other one came out, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. But so then that was the first thing that happened. So then I had to rush over to the dentist, luckily, Luckily, they got me in, or I was gonna have to go two days with nubs back here. Got me in, glued them in. So my dentist, he was like, hey, let me uh, put them bottom ones in for you. So then I went back to the orthodontist and said, hey, don't want no trouble, no one mad. You care if the dentist puts the spacers in on the bottom? He said, no, that's fine, that's fine. So I went the next day, got the spacers put in, and they went top to bottom, and it worked perfectly. So if you have crowns, I don't know if some of you may have, some of you may not. Make sure they go down with your spacer. So then that week of spacers, two weeks of spacers, I could not hardly eat. Spacers is the worst part, let me tell you. If you can get past them, you got braces in the bag. I couldn't hardly eat for probably nine days. I was eating potatoes and macaroni from KFC almost every day. And, uh, but if you can handle that, I mean, it ain't terrible, but your teeth is so sore. And when you brush, it hurts so bad, but just get through them 14 days and then you got it. So then after that, I was just supposed to get bottoms on and I get in there and I was like, man, it's just blabbing. I'm good at it. If you ain't, can't tell, I was like, man, I wish I could get these on. He overheard me. So then he's like, well, we're gonna move these two top brackets up so we can get both on, get your teeth working. I was like, sweet. So then that couple weeks go by and I'm like, my wife and I was at Texas Roadhouse. I was crunching on steak. I was like, man, my gum really feels funny. So then I pull it back. They got these metal collars that go around your second tooth where them spacers are at. I had them up there and my gum was swelled out way big. And I was like, man, that ain't right. So then I grabbed that metal collar and it was about to fall out, but I couldn't even tell. So then it was like real swelled up and I pushed it back up and pus started coming out. So then I, the dentist got me in, they took it out, let it healed up. So then a month later, the other one on this side got loose and it made my breast start to stink for some reason. I don't know why. 
but it, it was real loose, getting ready to fall out, but it didn't affect my gum. So then they took that out. So after these metal colors was out, everything's been all right. But so I've been to the dentist or orthodontist twice. First, first time they didn't do anything with wires. They just changed the bands because my teeth wasn't really moving yet. They said, give it time. So then the next month I went in, they, my front teeth didn't really change a lot. That one was way back there. You've probably seen from my other video if you're re-watching. And then they changed the bottom to a harder wire. And they've been moving a lot. Now I got a gap right here and right here. But he said, that's normal. We'll close them up. And then uh, I just went a couple days ago to get checked up, make sure this where these things was, took them brackets off and uh, make sure they healed up. And then they, since my teeth don't really close down, they move these two brackets down. You can see it in my first video. I'll leave a link in the bottom. Uh, they was all the way up to the gum. Now they're in the middle of my teeth. So he moved them down. Same same wire still, but he adjusted this these two to try to straighten them out. And I got a stiffer wire on bottom, so he's gonna try to close them in. But other than that, my teeth now in about three months have really straightened out they was these two front teeth was way back and uh i'm glad i decided to get braces because he said eventually my teeth would have wore down the way my bite was and they would have went all the way to the gums eventually <clears throat> so i'm glad i done it because you need teeth to eat and stuff but it it, it definitely is a confidence boost seeing your teeth starting to get straight. So I encourage you to get it. Worst part about it is your spacers, but I'm, I don't know if every dentist does that, but I'm sure uh, they take good care of you when stuff happens. They get you right in, get it checked out. But I'll have more videos on this. But as of right now, that's the only problems I've had. So I hope you enjoy this video. I hope it gives you information and don't be scared to get them. This get them it's a confidence boost extremely your teeth move really fast in a couple months at this so when they put new wire on they'll hurt for about two three days just a little bit tender to eat and stuff and brush your teeth again but it's all good so hope you guys enjoy this video i'll have more on the channel as stuff goes on so stay tuned hit that like button subscribe peace <music>